Hey, Professor Puri. Fancy meeting you. Hi there, Dr. L. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been working on problems in mathematical biology. What is this subject? Well, you know that biology doesn't have universal laws. Unlike physics, say. Yes. So. Well, what I do is define a mechanistic framework for a biological problem. Then, I explain it through mathematics. Oh. So, what does that mean? Mechanistic framework. It's really quite simple. I look at, for example, some types of cancer. I try to understand how they emerge in progress. And, then, you describe these behaviors or succession of events. Like, through a flow diagram. Something like that? Yes, exactly, Dr. L. You were right. I describe the succession of these biological events through a flow diagram. Or, shall we say, a mechanism. Hmm. I think I understand. Then you describe the connections between these biological events using mathematical relations. Right. Like how fast some cells transform from one type into another. Or, what stimulus a cell needs to mutate. And so on. Well, that sounds quite interesting. And, you have also demystified the subject. It's a useful way to look at a biological problem. Like the inception of a disease and its progression. Wow. Great. What have you worked on besides cancer? My cancer work was to develop a mathematical framework. I wanted to understand the consistem cell hypothesis, which is quite new. Ours was the first work in the area. My latest paper in PLOS1 looks at Alzheimer's disease. And, what did you find there? I see that mathematical biology can be quite interesting. Well, we found that, although there are quite a number of crosstalks among brain cells during the aging process, the inflammation of cells called microglia in the brain is a critical step in promoting Alzheimer's disease. I am so glad that I bumped into you. This has been a most interesting encounter. For me too. Not many university presidents walk around their campus engaging themselves with the research of their faculty or to meet their students. We are lucky to have you. Thanks, Professor Puri. You take care of yourself. You too, Dr. L. Bye. <laughs>